Um, Michael and Philip, and perhaps Nikki, if you want to weigh on this as well. I mean, the, the look of the film is, is, is gorgeous, and I want, I'm sure the decision to um, portray some of it, much of it in muted colors, black and white even, is, is, a, is a big one for any studio film. Was that something that you all arrived at collaboratively together? Was, that, uh, was there any discussion of going another way? No, none. Um, we just followed uh, Jonas's, well, everyone's limited perception, and Jonas's uh, gathering perception of color uh, and the world around him and, and structured the color scheme around that. Uh, of course, you, d you don't have to see black and white when you're reading uh, Lois's words. You can imagine you're watching you know, events in color. But we had to make some pretty hard decisions, and uh, we laid out the film from first frame to last, and then shot it that way, and that's how you see it in the cinema. Did, um, t to our, our, uh, our young actors, uh, younger actors, we're all young here, younger actors here today, um, did any of you encounter this book prior to coming to the material? Sadly, no. <laughs> None of us? None of us did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in school. So what struck yeah, you? There you go. <laughs> I've got one reader. There you go. Yeah. What struck you about it, Taylor? Huh? What struck you about it the first time oh, you encountered when it? when I read the book, it was one of, those, uh, one of those things that really changed my perspective on a lot of things. I think when I read it, I was in probably fifth grade, and I didn't do a lot of thinking about the distant future as far as our society goes, you know, at that point in my life. And this really kind of switched that up for me and it really kind of blew my mind in a way that stuck with me and when I got this script I just immediately thought I'm gonna say yes to this. I really hope it's a good ad adaptation. I hope it's a good portrayal of this because if it is, if it's anything like the effect the book had on me, then I'm, I'm gonna do this. For, uh, for you, Ms. Streep, I'm wondering what, uh, you know, in an extre extraordinarily varied career, this, this is new material. This is a different part than we've ever seen you uh, portray, which obviously I guess is the goal of any actor. Uh, what boxes did this check when the script came in and this material came your way that said, I need to do this, this makes sense for me right now? Well, I like to be boss. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that was a good thing. I'd always wanted to work <laughs> with this gentleman my entire career, never th got the chance. Somehow he eluded me. And um, so that was, that was a big, big part of the, the draw. And also, I'm a big admirer of Philip's films. I think he's a pure, pure filmmaker with uh, great taste. And I knew to, to bring this to life, especially the, the colorless parts of it, um, it would take a great artist. So I was really happy to be pulled in. Did your kids uh, read the book? Yeah. Yeah. Mine did, yeah. They were required, you know, they, they had a list of required reading over the summer and it's always, you know, to get, get them to do it. And um, that's one of my parenting um, methods. No, um, but this, that, one was, uh, that one was put in front of them and they devoured it, the, the two younger ones. Um, and um, so, yeah. The, the, the perils of a, of a large panel is if I ask each of you a question, you guys won't have any time. So I'm going to open this up to some questions from you guys and, uh, and uh, spread the wealth. I think we have two microphones that are roving around, perhaps. Is there a mic? No? Yes? I can. Uh, do you want to go to the gentleman right in front of you? Thanks. Yep. Good morning. My name is Alfonso Diaz, and I am with NTN24, the Latino News Channel, and RCN Networks, Colombia. And um, I have a question for you, Ms. Tripp, and it's about the fact that when an actor makes a movie, it's all about the emotions, and it's all about the developing of the, that intensity of emotions. And here, your character is deprived from them. So how do you build something in which you deliver still with that level of construction because of what, who the character is? Who was that addressed to? I'm not sure, actually. Who, who did you want to address that to? To Meryl Streep, please. To Miss Streep. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I love the way you say my name. <laughs> um, well, 
It's a, an interesting thing to play people who have suppressed emotion, but I felt that the chief elder didn't take her medication <laughs> as well on certain days. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like we all skip, probably. Um, because clearly she had some deep history with the giver, the receiver of wisdom, right? And I think that that was something that intrigued me about uh, this script. Um, but in terms of, uh, I think that's sort of the point of the book. You can't, you can't keep things in. You know, you can't suppress uh, the things that keep make us human. And um, it's pointless to to try. All right. Let's go to the next question. Um, let's go to the woman right next to you. Thank you. Hello, this is for Katie Holmes. Um, did your daughter watch the movie? Did you discuss it with her? And what do you want her to learn, to learn from it? Um, thank you for asking. Um, it, she's a little young, but I'm very excited uh, to be a part of this. And I think that so many people who have read the book are going to be so happy with this adaptation. 